I guess while we're on that subject of making the changes, now that I understand what the issue is, which appears to be that the, the title of the charge, count one, interception of communications is incorrect, but the body of the charge is close to what it needs to be, I'll find it sufficient to give notice. That's why we can make the amendment. Should I go ahead and include the word of um, uh, conceal with the instructions as well? Yeah, the definition. Yeah. Right, so, so we're going to prepare a separate that. instruction with the definition of conceal yep. for you to look at. And if, if it's okay, then we'll, we'll give it. Yeah, you're going to. This isn't for me. It's all for the jury. Right. Yeah. Well, but I want you to look at it. allowing to decide my fate. Yeah. And I, I want you to look at it, though, sir, because you have to be satisfied it's accurate. So.
we get these in jail? How do you get them in jail? Yeah, how do you get you? Yeah. 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 Let, me, let me answer the defendant's question as best I can. Are you able to get stuff like this to for your defense? Uh, it's seen, I don't know how it works here because I rarely work here. I think I've been here three times in 20 years. But uh, jails usually have some way to provide access to legal materials, whether they're actual books or online access or something. So I could not answer that question for you, but someone who uh, well, does, does, does work here, and particularly the folks who work at the jail, well. the, the folks who work at the jail would know about that where I don't. So I'm reluctant to say, oh, well, you should be able to do that because I don't know what the practice is for. Like we have a computer in the pods, but they're very yeah. insufficient for any means of research here. Yeah. So we, we got them emailed? Just kidding. Okay. Okay, good. So we'll print those up, sir. I want you to take a look at them, and then we'll move to the next issue, if they look okay. If they... Sir, so which one do you want to look at first? Number one, number two? Well, number one, bye. Okay, let's take a look at that. Read it over, sir. Check the statute. If you see a problem, please let me know. She still has simulating legal process in here. Is it not? Really? Yeah. You're great. Right. <laughs> Shouldn't be. Yes, I know. Wait a second. suggestions, but does the rest of it look okay? I think I see. I see a problem with it, but let's let the defendant finish first. Sir, it's still not right. We're going to have to give you another one. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Got it.
going to try it again, sir. <laughs> still not right. So here's what we need to do now. I guess the uh, Mr. Rivers has it on the machine. He does. He does. Do. He does. I'm looking at the statute council. You look look along and you tell me if I'm wrong. But C says otherwise, comma, if not all. It does not say otherwise, if not, comma, all. That's true. Yeah. Where you had say. And it doesn't say otherwise, if not all, comma. So we're on the third line. The very end, it says otherwise, comma, if not all, no punctuation. Get rid of the comma. So it should say otherwise, comma, if not all participants. Okay. So do you see what the issue is there? Yes. But they were electrical, mechanical, manual, or otherwise? So did you get the first comma? Yeah. Whether electrical, mechanical, manual, or otherwise, that comma belongs in there. Okay. If not all, that comma is not in there. So we need to comma at the very end of line three has to come out. Okay. It's otherwise, After, I don't if know not, before all? My understanding yes, if not, all participants in, it just goes on. That's that's a standalone phrase. Now, also, we have the same problem again. And the next to the last line, about the middle, where it says, otherwise, comma, if not, comma, we need to get rid of the comma, because mm -hmm. that's not what it said it says. I'm sorry, you got, where are you at, James? Okay. Next, second line from the bottom. On, are we still on? Uh, Intercept. Uh, okay. One, yeah. Okay. Where it says mechanical, manual, or otherwise. Are you with me? No, not yet. Okay. Here's okay, one. gotcha. Okay. Or, or otherwise, comma? Otherwise, comma. If not, the comma after not must be removed. Okay. Otherwise, it doesn't make any sense. Okay. Okay, I took that one out. I thought okay, that's what you were just you're way ahead of me then. Well, there's two places where it would be, Mr. Rivers. So it'll be on the bottom. Okay, and top. Okay, so that's what I'm understanding. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, they're both two. out. All right, well, let's print it up and try it again. Mr. Walker, hopefully this is it. Uh, but as you know by now, you need to look it over carefully. So take a close look at it and we'll see where we're at. Let's just work on one first. This is getting too complicated for me to handle two at once. And once we get number one right, we'll be halfway home. So does number one look okay, you say? Yeah. Okay, good. Thank you. Now we've got number two. And is there a concern about number two, sir? We've, I think you've got a new copy of a number two. So take a close look at that and make sure it looks okay. No, that's right. Okay, good. So. Let's just prime on number three. Special number three, if you'll take a look at that, sir, and compare it to the dictionary page if you wish. That's okay. right. So it looks okay. Okay. So now, sir, have, have you looked at the other instructions? Yeah, I looked at them. Okay. So if you have any issues, let me know. If not, 
the issue that we're just here in the first place, going over all these corrections that these competent people are supposed to be competent in. Okay. Well, I understand what you're saying, sir. So. I really don't believe any of you understand what I'm saying. All right. So it looks like we have our instructions.
the, everything that they're going to get will probably have in the upper left-hand corner something that says UCRJI, which means Uniform Criminal Jury Instruction. Okay. So if you look at that, and then if you have any questions, go ahead. I just have one question. Right yes, sir. Are you aware of what the standards are for mail fraud? the postmaster general? Actually not. Okay, well, the, the titling of names? Yeah. Throughout this paperwork, you have the wrong punctuation of names. You have upper, upper all uppercase names, and you have all lowercase names, and then you have mixed upper lowercase names. Mm -hmm. Those all matter. Those are all important. Yeah, okay, sir, and I'm not, I'm not going to disagree with okay, you about uh, that, but, but what, what we need to have you do, we're about to give those documents to the jury, and and I want you to be satisfied because you told me you were not satisfied. Okay. I want like you I'm to look saying. at them and make sure that they're okay. And if you think they aren't, I need you to tell me why, and then we'll try to fix them if they need fixing. So we'll be changing our knowing to the exact language Mr. Walker requested from the statute, the mental state, and I'll be changing the verdict form, and I'll be sending those to everyone. Okay. So this interception of communication needs to be changed to obtaining contents of communication. Which one are you looking at, sir, so I can take a look? Introduction. That's already happened. Uh, yeah, but we can sure correct it, and I'll give them a correcting instruction. So introduction is what you were looking at. I got another quick question for you. Yes, sir. Please when it comes back. to evaluating the witness testimony, right. am I going to be able to explain my opinion on the witness's testimony based off their answers they gave? Yes, sir. Yeah. And on the evaluating witness testimony, sir, a couple of things I need to tell you about that. If you look at that again, it's got six different things on it. And the last two, the instructions always come out that way, but sometimes no one there's no evidence that anybody who testified was convicted of a crime, as in this case. So that one we remove because we don't want to distract the jurors and make them think somebody's been convicted of a crime. The other one concerning character of witness for truthfulness. In order for that to be given, a witness would have to say, yes, I know Judge Roll and he has a, his character is that he's untruthful or whatever they're going to say. We don't have any testimony like that. So what ordinarily happens then is evaluating witnesses just one through four. And you can still do what you ask me if you could do, which is to say, jury, this is what you heard the witnesses say, and, and this is what you ought to conclude from that.
okay, I have sent the jury instruction, okay. or, sorry, the verdict form, the verdict form, and then knowingly new mental state language. Okay, now take a look at 1026 because it, it, the last sentence in 1026 makes no sense. What are you referring to? Uh, uh, if you look at the top, sir, it says, you see RJI number 1026, the, the title is date when crime committed on or about. It says the very last sentence says the crime, if any, happened between August 18. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I'll, I'll withdraw the request to have on or about language. I will withdraw my offer for 1026, Your Honor. Okay. So that means the state says they don't they don't care whether we give it or not, and, and I don't care, sir. If you want it given, we'll give it. Well, it has, yeah, it doesn't make no difference. Like, okay, so there we'll, you all know it happened. We'll yes, it was on August 18. Yeah, okay, so we'll withdraw that one. And shouldn't do this, but I'm starting to get a little bit upset, so I'm going to just ask one question. I just got a new special instruction number one that says interception of communication. Now, did I get it wrong, or did you get it wrong? Okay. I didn't print a new one out. I, I'm okay, so then I got it wrong, okay. because I have one that I think is right, but I just handed another one. I don't know where. Yeah, the ones you were just handed are. These are duplicates from the wrong time. But I, I need the knowing and I need the, the verdict form. That's the only yeah, one I, I have. I have knowing and verdict form. Okay. Yeah, so sure. All right. Then I too. was wrong to get irritated. So. Did, Mr. Rivers, did you get the verdict form? I, I yes. did. You don't have it? Well, the verdict form, should, there should be a new verdict form that says. Obtaining. It does. Mm, it does. It does. Great. And one more thing, do you want to fix the second page and put the last two things in there so it's clear on the record? Yeah, the I last think we ought to do that. Instructions. I think we ought to do that. He's talking about your, your cover sheets, cover sheets sure. that sort of list, and they are not accurate now because they're identifying instructions that we've changed. So okay. let's fix the cover okay. sheet. That really ought to be my job because I have the one that goes in the court file that would go to the court of appeals. It's all going to go there anyways. Right, so we would exactly. need to add special instructions two and three, and then we'll be good? Yeah, so what we need to do on the second page is state special instruction number one, state special number two. And it was actually Mr. Walker who asked for the instruction about that would explain concealed. concealed. Yeah. So... And it actually wasn't submitted until today, which is fine, but that means I don't need to put it so on the cover letter. over all of it. Yeah, I, I don't need to put it on the cover letter because the state didn't send it. It was your okay. your help that got that in there, and that's already on the record. So. I, 
think the cover letter now is accurately reflects what we have. Besides the number two. What it shows is state special number one, state special number two. And I don't got the number two. I'm sorry, sir. The package. Well, 